Hey, can you see I'm in my recording, Leo? Can you hear me? Let me see. Hey, can you hear me? Let me see. What are you doing? You're not on yet. I don't see you. I don't see you lying now. Get on. I think this is the code here. I was just going to use a regular sound here, but I don't, I don't hear, hear anything here. Leo, can you hear me, Leo? Can't hear you, Leo. You, Leo, you on? I know. Uh, how come I don't see you? Because of my shear. Showing my room. Oh yeah, I forgot my face is really dark. Oh, so it's fading in. Now, now you. Have. I see you, Leo. Leo, can you hear me? I can't hear you, Leo. Leo, what's up? I can't hear you. Leo, I can't hear you, Leo. <laughs> All right. Let me get this thing to be still here. It's doing its own thing. All right. Lonnie, can you see that I'm a recording? Yep. All right. I'm gonna get started with what I got here. Uh, Leo, I can't hear you yet. Talk, Leo. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you, Leo. I can't hear Leo. I can't hear you. Check your sound, Leo. I'm gonna double check and making sure it is not mine. Lana, you can no, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, my mic was off. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, now we can get started here. And the rest have to catch up with us. All right. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for tonight. We thank you for your word that go forth tonight. That uh as your word said, that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. And so we thank you for the words that will go forth tonight, that they will not return to you void, but they will are sent out to do what you have accomplished them to do, and that they will take root in each and every hearer, whether on live or on recording. And so we thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who teaches us and guides us into all truth. And we thank you, Father. I uh, also pray that uh, you would just have your way, open up our minds that we understand the scriptures, open up our, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, that we would truly grasp your word and um, understand it and, and live it. So have your way in this session. In Jesus' name, amen. Woohoo! Amen. <laughs> all right, we're going to get ready to get started here. I got a few things I got, so I hope you got your Bibles ready because you're going to need to read a couple of scriptures that I have. So the first one that everybody should turn to now before we get there is Proverbs 12, verse 1. Proverbs 12. Okay, grab that, y'all. You know, we come here, we need pencil, paper, and Bible, okay? Or your notebook. You should have a royal ruler's notebook. Every time you come, you jot down your notes. We ready now? We're going to start. I'm welcoming everybody to the royal rulers in training. And this is on Wednesday and Thursday nights, 7 to 7.30 uh, Eastern. And 
This is the numbers at the bottom of the screen of how you want to get on, if you want to get on Zoom in person, invite your family, friends, and associates, and people you want to come to, come to know or enter the kingdom. And I'm going to move on from there. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And so here we talk about royal rulers and training. So they are here to get training and skilling and their royalty. They already know they were born into royalty. When you're born again, you're, you're part of the royal family. So here we go. And we've been talking about improving ourselves every day. We've been talking about knowing God. We've been talking about our spiritual gifts, our purpose, the reason why we're here, our, our identity, and those things. And now we're up to improving every day of our life. And so we're going to get a little bit of uh, uh, what you call it, um, action words on how you can improve your life, okay? Because nobody can do that for you. And so improving yourself is as part of us being the best version of ourselves, okay? Because uh, anyone that comes into the world, you got to be trained to do be with who God called you to be. And so, therefore, this is why we come with our notebooks, pen, and paper. We take in what we need to take in, and then we apply the truth of the words that we hear of our life. So, someone read the scripture with a clock at. I'm going to uh, move these pictures over so you can see it. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody read. Uh, can you read that for me, uh, Leo? Now, now, get ready to read. Okay. Uh, Leo, read the side with the clock on it. Okay. Can you see so, that part? Yes. All right, okay. So teach us to number our days that we have may get a heart of wisdom. Thank you, thank you. So we that's from the scriptures, uh, Psalms 90, verse 12. And it says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. And so uh, this is what we're asking of God. And this is what we read from the scriptures. And this is what we want to do is to be taught how to number our days. Even at this young age, this is the best time. I wish I knew all this stuff when I was your age. Okay. <laughs> and so um, to Right here, here we're learning how to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Wisdom is very important um, in your walk with God. So, uh, And we know that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of, of the Lord. So you might want to write that note down. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Lionel, read the other side of this, uh, this verse. It's okay. The this verse is just saying it in a different way. All right. Teach us to be mindful of how we live each day and to use our time wisely. Yes. So saying the same thing is just saying in a different way. So, you know, you can catch on to what it's saying. Teaching us to be mindful of how we live each day and to use our time wisely. So the, uh, this reminds me of the time when we say, oh, I'm, I'm bored. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm Nothing to do. I'm bored. You know, especially. I'm never bored. You never bored. Oh, very good. Cause you I know. Have PS, I have a PS. I have a PS four. This laptop. A tablet. <laughs> it's locked up. Okay. <laughs> yes. And yeah. so we gotta, we gotta. For those who have PS fours too, sometimes they get bored of that. <laughs> so <laughs> they uh, you have to uh, learn how to be have uh, be wise in your time. So this is what we're talking about, being you and wisdom. There's nothing wrong with pills, fours, and tablets. It's just how you use it. We're talking about being wise and using the time that we got. So we I got always the, separate my time from everything. But that's good. And that's what we want uh that's what we want others to learn. Separate your time from everything. So and the most time, the best, I mean the most important time is what? Do you know, Leo? Uh, praying. Praying, yeah. And when you're praying, what do you do? Who are you spending that time with? God. Yeah, that's the best time. That's the best time. 
to spend your time with the Lord. All right, very good. So we're learning about spending how we want to spend our time wisely. All right, I'm trying to get the thing to move. All right, move. <laughs> move back. Not that way. <laughs> All right, okay. One minute. Technology. It takes the. Here we go. All right, so, and part of using your time wisely, you got to plan, you got to prepare, and to perform. So once you make the plan up and prepare, you need to do what you plan. And so here we go. On the other side, read the other side for me, blue side. If you... Okay. Y'all can read together. Go ahead. One, two, three. Go. Okay. If you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. Oh. Right. So you got to have a plan, okay? Got to have a plan. But if you fail to prepare, that's what planning is, is preparing. Then, then you prepare to fail. And we're talking about not just time. We're talking about what, how, what are you going to do with your life from, starting from now? So the decisions that we make now is a lot have a lot to do with us being successful later on. Because you know, mommy and daddy is not going to be taking care of you all your life. Y'all got that? Yep. Okay, okay. All right, this says, somebody read this out over there. The blue. Hello, I am prepared. Very good. Read the other side, Lonnie. Now, now, read the other side. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Hello, I am prepared. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, we need to be ready. We can let somebody else in. All right, the Mars kids, thank you for being here. Hello, are you ready? All right, I am prepared. So everybody can say that with me. Say hello. I am prepared. I am prepared. Are you ready? Are you ready? Very good. Thank you, Leo, for working with me. Okay. Line <laughs> now. I need to stay focused. Okay. Okay. Somebody else is coming in. Hold on. Let me let them in. All right. Glad you're all in here. All right. Glad you're all in. I'm going to keep on moving, okay? So we've been talking about being prepared and being ready. Let me go back for a minute here. Let me, uh, let me do this here. Uh, stop sharing for a minute. Hello, hello. All those black screens. Come on. Everybody doing the same thing. Show your room or show your area somewhere. I'm showing my area. All right, now you need to turn the light on. <laughs> no way. All I'm right. I'm glad that all y'all all here. Thank you for uh, cooperating. All right, we're talking tonight about being the best version of yourself, okay? So you might want to put that at the top of your paper and Psalms 90. And I said, everybody turn to Proverbs 12, verse 1. Be ready in your Bible. Because when we get there this way, we all read it together. All right? Proverbs 12, verse 1. All right? We're not there yet, but I want everybody to turn to it now. Okay? Paper, pen, and paper. Always come here in Bible, I mean. Come here with your paper, pen, and Bible. We're here learning about our royalty. All right, let me go back to, where am I at? Oh, I got to go back to sharing. Okay, <laughs> back to sharing. All right. All right, now. Let me make sure I'm going where I'm going. Okay. All right, I need to, to move. Move. <laughs> So, how do you know if it's verse one? How do I know if it's verse one? It should have a one there. See the one? 
No. My own, my, my own says. It's the first one. Oh, yeah, see yeah. no one. All right, just, we're not reading it now. We just make sure everybody got it. So we won't, you know, we can kill as much time as we can. So we've been talking, for those who just came in, we're talking about improving your everyday life. We're talking about being the best version of yourself. And we read scriptures, uh, nine, Psalms 90, verse 12, about teaching us to be mindful how we live each day and to use our time wisely. And we talk about planning, preparing, and perform. If you fail to prepare, then you you prepare to fail. Okay? So, and I, and I said this, that you got to prepare for when it's time for you to leave the nest. Okay? Your mommy and daddy is not going to take care of you all your life. Got that? So we got to prepare and plan. And we this is where we at when everybody start coming in. Hello, I am prepared. Are you ready? <laughs> and that's what we should be prepared. And so here we are. Be prepared. Today, today's preparation, how you prepare today is your tomorrow's success. All right. And we're going to learn a little bit about how we do that. So uh, we said this already. Can you read that, um, Tristan? Can you read both sides? Are you reading, Tris? Sounds, uh... Hello? Hello? Okay, now I can hear you. It's good. Okay. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Yes, and the other side says you're unprepared. Okay? <laughs> so, you want to be prepared. All right? I know I said that already. we just listening again. A lot, you need to hear things more than one time in order for it to stick, okay? We want it to stick. Somebody read the other one. Read these two. I'll read, uh, okay, so, uh, preparation, uh, preparation is the key. Today's preparation, tomorrow's success. Yes, so you got to prepare for your success, okay? If you don't prepare... You go, uh, you know, you are preparing to fail. Got that? Is that clear, everybody? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's yes. move on. So let's learn a little bit about the ants. Okay. The lessons of the ant. Let me um open this up a little bit more. Let me close this one. Uh, the lessons of the ants. We're going to learn some lessons from the ants, how they prepare. I know you just listen up because I'm going to ask y'all questions also. I hope y'all taking notes too. I got to move all these things out the way here. <laughs> all right. That's, that's nice. Somebody got music on? So somebody get ready to read the uh, read the title on one side and then the other side. Let me get one person to do that. Um, lessons from an ant, Proverbs six. Okay, the other side too. Um, go to go to the ant, O sluggard, O sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise without having any chief officer or ruler. She prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. All right. So we're going to learn some lessons about how the ants prepare. And that word sluggish. Can anybody tell me what the word sluggish means? Slower? Like lazy? Oh, yes. You got it. That's, is that Darius? <laughs> no, Tristan. Tristan. Oh, thank you, Tristan. Yeah, that's lazy. Go to the ant, oh, lazy. Okay? That's what it's saying. Consider her ways and be wise. Now, you see ants, they little things. We step on them sometimes, don't we? Yeah. Now, we got to figure out how do they, they don't even have nobody in charge of them or no officer over them or a ruler, but they prepare their bread in the summertime and gather her, their food in the harvest. And this is, we're talking about 
being prepared and, and preparation and, and with your planning and then living with your plan. All right, let's go on to the next one over here. And somebody want to read this out for me. I'm about to do all the reading. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, can y'all see it? I know I switched over. It takes a while to get to North Carolina. Right now, you go ahead. Can, yeah. can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. All right, did it get to North Carolina yet? Did it get to y'all yet? All right. Darius, did it get to y'all? It will take a little bit to get there. Wait, which one? Did it? Read the first one. No. Can y'all see it? No. I can't hear y'all. Y'all gonna answer me? Y'all breaking up or something? Can somebody read? Uh, look like they having trouble. All right, somebody here. Ams <laughs> are mentioned only twice. Proverbs 30, and Proverbs thirty twenty five. Ants are used to teach about a good work ethic and to encourage God's people to work hard. Yes. So these are some of the lessons that we're going to learn from the ants. They teach about a good work. I can't know. You're, you're sounding like you're real slow and slurring. Okay. Ants used to teach a good work ethic, a work ethic. That's what we need to learn, the work ethic, and to encourage God's people to work hard. So these are the two things that we're learning from Proverbs 6, 6, 11, and Proverbs 30, verse 25. Now, the other side, somebody want to read that? You are to walk according to your calling, not slothful or lazy, but in diligence, fervent and heart. So lazy, or the word sluggard it means lazy in scripture. It's full of excuses without initiative, okay? That's somebody always trying to find an excuse not to do something, okay? And so Proverbs 13, 4, if somebody can go to that real quick, and somebody go to uh, Proverbs nineteen twenty four. Okay, they came. They went out and came back in. Okay. I need one person thirteen four and one person nineteen Proverbs nineteen twenty four. And let me know when you get it. Is that you, Tristan? Yes. Tell us which one you got. Yeah, you're still slurring. You're real slow, like y'all going in slow motion. You're talking in slow motion. Okay, who's reading while they fixing their sound? Who's reading? Somebody reads Proverbs 13, 4, and somebody reads Proverbs 19, 24. Who's that breaking up? Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. You're breaking up. Down a little better. I can't tell who's so. Tristan, you still on here? Yes. Okay, you got Proverbs 13, 4? Yeah. All right, read that. 
Lazy people. Lazy people work much, but get little. Those who work hard will prosper. Prosper. Will prosper, right? Okay. You said lazy people want more, but what'd you say? Lazy people want more, but get little. But those who work hard will prosper. Will prosper. Okay, yes. Lazy people who want get little and and, and those who work hard prosper. That's very good. Now y'all y'all hope y'all taking notes now. All right. Now somebody got Proverbs 1924. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, give me a second. All right, I got it. Proverbs 19:24. A sloth, a slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it into his mouth again. Yes, because that's a person that's real lazy. He won't even bring his hand up to his mouth to feed himself. That's real lazy. Uh, um, there's a person that wants much, but then they get less. Uh, Leo, can you can you turn to Proverbs twelve twenty seven? You already should be in Proverbs twelve. Look at verse twenty seven. I cannot find any of those. You can't find them. Okay. Somebody else can. Okay. Yes, my mommy is doing it right now. Okay. Verse 27, Proverbs 13, 27. I mean, 12, 27, I'm sorry. I don't understand. man. There's 27 now. 12, 27. Proverbs 12, 27. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm not speaking with mic. Okay. Again it. Yeah, you got it? Can I see two seven? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. First twenty-seven. The slothful. The slothful man. Or as roasted. I don't know if y'all have the same version. What um, roasted? Say roasted. Not. That wish. That wish. Eat it in hunting. Eat it in But the substance of a diligence. Mm -hmm. Diligent man is precious. Uh, precious. Precious. Yes, precious. So y'all see what this, the scriptures are talking about? Lazy people? They're slothful. A lazy man roasts not what he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. So we're talking about being lazy. I know we're in the uh, COVID-19 uh, or what do you call it, corona thing, but there is no reason for us to be sitting around being lazy okay it's always something to do and then y'all can see the other verses there to read i ain't want to take too much of the time but uh well here's one of the verses that was on the list somebody can read that how are we doing down in north carolina could y'all y'all look much clearer can you hear i can hear but it's still slurring yeah it sounds like a broken piano. Y'all sound clear. Y'all look clear, but you sound um, slurred. So I don't know what's going on with the sound. So start tapping. Uh, y'all, If y'all got to answer some questions, y'all can use the chat, okay? Use the chat. Y'all have to. Um, Proverbs 6, 6, and 11. Lionel, you want to read? Let's go, Lionel. Uh -huh. 
Good night, Sister Abby. Uh, Lionel, read six, six to eleven. Lionel, you would you there? All right, I'm gonna start reading. Learn from others. This is what this is talking about. Learning from others. Consider to be and be wise. In verse six, self starters. Use time your time wisely. In seven and eight, and discipline yourself. Don't sleep when there's work to be done. Okay, this, when there's work to be done, we should not be sleeping. What's, what's this thing doing? Here? Okay, we should not be sleeping when there's work to be done. Okay, you see over here in this this other picture over here, the um this person laying down chilling. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with laying down chilling after you uh after you did your work. Okay, <laughs> all right. So there's work for us to do in our homes. We should be doing our chores. We should be doing our assignments on um online now that we have to do our work from school work from on, on, at home. We should be getting that work done and um and, uh, and stuff we need to do around the house. Our room shouldn't be looking like a sham rack, okay? <laughs> we need to uh, stay in order, all right? So discipline yourself. Don't sleep when there's work to be done. Spiritual work, and there's some other scriptures down there. So a little, somebody read that one with the person laying on the, um, the ham. A little sleep, a little some slumber, a little burden of the hands to rest. A proverb, poverty, poverty will come on you like a thief, and security, scarcity, like a, scarcity like an army, um, an armed man. Yes. So if you don't learn to do what you need to do instead of just laying around slumber, it says a little folding of the hands to rest, poverty will come upon you. Okay? Like a thief. You be wondering why you don't you don't have this or why you not where you supposed to be is because you were sleeping when you should have been working. Okay? You should have been working when you was laying around, okay? So there's nothing wrong with laying around after you after you did your work, okay? <laughs> So you got to work. You got to learn to work with him. We're talking about God. Work hard. You got a lot of scriptures here that talks about, y'all can look at the recordings later, but there's a lot of scriptures here about laziness. And then here's some scriptures about hard work. That's what I like about the Proverbs because it shows you about the hard work and the person that's lazy. The person that's lazy is sluggard. The person that's hardworking, they are diligent. They're diligent just like the ants are. And so we work as if we were working for God. So whenever you do, you work as if you're doing it for God. Everything you do is decent and in order unto the Lord. Your schoolwork, your housework, your whatever work you put your hand to, do it decent. Don't do it sloppy and throw it in the corner. Put everything nice and neat. Okay? In order. The kingdom is a kingdom of order. Y'all got that? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this uh Proverbs 26, 13, and 16 is scripture urges diligence about work, saving, and preparing for your future, your future needs. So the work that you're doing with your schoolwork now, this is part of your future. So don't 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 get slack on it. Do everything the best you can in your studying, because this is part of your uh of your uh being success okay because you need to know how to read if you're going to read god's word you got to learn how to read right hello no. <laughs> okay okay so you got to finish do your school work get all that stuff done that you need to get done study god's word and then it, it talks about ministering god's work all right god is always work do you know when you sleep god is still working so if you are children of god you shouldn't be lazy we should be working only reason why we go to sleep because we in these bodies and these bodies have to rest about at least eight hours. Okay. <laughs> but after that, just time to work. Get your work done. Okay. So I don't get eight hours. I just sleep really. You do? <laughs> you don't get eight hours. Well, That's at least. But I actually went to bed eleven. Eleven? 
Okay, well, yeah, y'all yeah. yeah, got that. Y'all got that little leeway time now because y'all don't have to leave the house. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm getting ready to ask y'all in a few minutes something. All right. I just want you to see. Everybody got Proverbs 12 1. Even if I can't hear you, I want you to read it. Pro Proverbs 12 1. Everybody got that? Lionel must have went to sleep on there. This disciple here always going to sleep. Um, y'all got that? All right, let's start to read on the count of uh, uh, one, two, on three, three. Whoso loveth, hello, I can't hear you. Those who are here. Proverbs 12, verse one, y'all there? Just nod your head up, the Mars kids, and let me know y'all there. I can see y'all though. Okay, they there. Aaliyah, you at Proverbs 12, 1? Mm. Tristan, y'all still there? Yes, we got uh, it. Are we on 12, 1? Everybody, y'all ready? You got it, Leo? No. No? You need 12, 1? I ain't put that one up here on the board, just neither. I wanted, us to, I wanted us to read it out the Bible. <laughs> Proverbs 12, 1. Go to chapter 12, verse 1. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's count three. One, two, three. What is that? Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. Y'all hear that? That's in the Bible. Whoever loves Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge. No. And he that hated reproof or correction is stupid. That's what it says. Or it says Brutus. And when you look at Brutus, that's what it means, stupid. All right? So up here it says, the stupid lazy man, Proverbs 6 and 9 to 11. And the reason why somebody would be stupid to me is, is because you're learning what happens to the sluggard person and what happens to the diligent person. But if you still want to be lazy, okay, that is not smart, okay? <laughs> so uh, verse 9 says, How long will you lie there, O slugger or lazy? When, you, when will you rise from your sleep? 10 says, a, sl a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. And it says, what that bottom part says right there? Anybody want to read that? That can um that I can hear. That bottom part. What does that say? Wake up, grow up, you're responsible. Self-inflicted poverty. Yes. So if you if you wind up being in poverty, it would be self-inflicted. Nobody done it to you except for you. Why could somebody be calling me? They don't know. Okay. Okay, so wake up, grow up. You are responsible because if you come into poverty, it's self-inflicted poverty. Nobody done it to you but you, okay? Because you've been warned already, okay? Y'all got that? So we go into the ant, you sluggard or lazy, consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler. It is, it is stored... Yet it stores its provision in the summer. So your storing provision right now would be you going to school uh, or online school, that, that's where we're at now, and doing all your studies that you're supposed to do and stop trying to skip around stuff, get it all done, and turn in your stuff like you're supposed to do it, okay? That is you uh, storing up in the summertime like the ants would do and gathering what you need for the harvest when everything, like when mommy and daddy stop taking care of you, who gonna take care of you? Yourself. Right, <laughs> okay. So how long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? Oops, I'm sorry, thing woke you up, baby. And a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man okay so we don't want to be left out and uh we in poverty because we didn't plan 
then we didn't prepare, plan, or live out what we're supposed to. So, who so somebody read the blue side, and then I'm gonna ask you what y'all get. We're gonna ask you what you get after this page right here. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. That's what the words say. Proverbs twelve one. Now, what the other side say? Somebody. I don't know where on that at, and I can't get them now. I got the baby. Lionel, did you go to sleep on me? All right, I needed you to read. Come on. All right, why will God not answer your call? Because you disdain all my counsel. This is telling you why God would not answer your call and would have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm, your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. And God is only doing that because you have your time to hear from the, uh, the teachers, instructors, your parents of things that you need. To, you would not, he said, you would not, dis, you, because you disdained all my counsel. So counsel is coming from your, uh, God's counsel is coming from your parents, from your teachers, for those who are pointing you in the right direction. And it says, and would have none of my rebuke when somebody disciplined you for doing something that's wrong. So when you turn and try to, when you're in trouble and you turn to God, he says, I will not answer their call. So God will let you go through a little bit, okay? If you don't listen to what is being told to you now. All right, so I'll start there tomorrow. All right, so far, what did we get today? Got something, I got something. Who's that? Tariq. All right, Tariq, that's good. You said discipline? He didn't say it yet, go. If you're lazy, you cannot succeed. Ooh, that's good, Tariq. Ah, he said, if you're lazy, you cannot succeed. That is so good. That's coming from an eight-year-old? Nine. Nine years old now. Yes. All right. Okay, anybody else? I might can't hear you from North Carolina, so you might have to chat it in, all right? Um, I got it. Um, Go ahead, Leo. Do your work proudly and do not complain. Oh, that's good, too. Do your work proudly and don't complain, yes. I got awesome. that. Um, Go ahead, that You give me how respectful, but you still need to, um, well, I got that. Um, you do not have a big ego because everybody can be wrong sometimes. Yes, that's true. And they, have to, and they have to be able to get um, ideas from others. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Lionel, did you get anything? All right. Did y'all chat anything? Can y'all? Can I hear y'all now? I think Lonnie? I got something. Okay, Lonnie. Go ahead. Um, I forget. Well, what did Terry said? I don't know if you tell me. Uh, it's, it's a thing about, um, I'm going to check my notes. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, check your notes. All right, what you got, uh, Lele? I see you up there. Okay, you chatting? I have to go to the chat for Lele. Oh, there's a couple in chats. I can look at the chats. All right, I have some on here. A Trini in the... <laughs> In the royal rulers, all right, now okay. Um, let me see. I gotta see what the chat said because some of them can't talk. Uh, I gotta how you open this chat? Chat open um, one minute here. I'm trying to open the chat up. It says I have nine chats in here, okay. And why is it not opening? Or maybe I'm in the way here. Hold on. 
Oh, here you go, chat. There they go. Oh, Katura says to everyone, what? Study God. Oh, this is the Mars children. It says, study God's word and get to know him. Okay, that's great. Oh, I can see Katura. She's saying great. <laughs> and, uh, and and Mars kid says, a life spiritual. And Katura says to everyone, good job, everyone. Yes, that's that's Leo's mom. She's saying good job to all of you guys. And I see some hearts over here on Facebook. Work as if you're working for God. Thank you. That's right, Eunice. That's right. And let me see. I'm seeing what else I what else feedback we got over here. <laughs> I see Jillian and Abby on here too. That accent. <laughs> she was talking about his accent. I'm <laughs> talking about all uh, um Tariq's accent. All right, so that's what I got right here so far. All right, and Anaya not here tonight. Is a uh, Anaya here and is uh Isaiah here? So I can see. Can I hear you us? Can you hear no? That was earlier. All right, study God's word and get to know him, definitely. And what about to prepare and preparation and being successful? If you don't prepare, you will fail. You're preparing to fail. Don't forget those things, okay, y'all? All right, so I hope you're taking notes, and we'll come back to this tomorrow. All right? And I can't hear the Mars kids, so somebody else is going to have to pray us out. Y'all all did a great job on your answer and reading. And um, and that's what we have to do. You have to read God's word to know what the words say. All right. All right. That's we're gonna so have someone to pray us out and we'll come back tomorrow. That's Lionel's hand up. Go ahead. All right. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything we had today. Hope that everyone has a good day. Hope that everyone learned something today. Hope hope that hope that everyone learned something real reliable today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you for that prayer. Well, I'm going to say good night to everybody. Thank y'all very much. Remember your notes that you have tonight. Bring them back with you tomorrow, okay? All right. And anybody had any dreams, visions, what did y'all do with them? Write it down. Thank you. <laughs> you write it down. That's right. So, all right, y'all. Good night. A nightmare. You, had, you had a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't want to write those down. Okay. Yeah. We pray them away. Okay. All right, y'all. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Love y'all all. God bless. Peace. All right. Peace out. <laughs> I can close this thing out. Hold on. Let me close that. See you, Lele. <laughs> all right. I don't even know how to close this thing out. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. In the meeting. <laughs>